Hello, Los Santos. This is your boy Seamus Wishbone reporting live from the nearest postal of 732, also known as our Weasel Studios. I am here to bring you this weekly scoop of the week. We have a lot of things going on this week. We got our Jartavis, a uh, new reporter actually, Jartavis Flanking the Third. Everyone give him a congratulations for getting that promotion. Is out there interviewing LSPD as well as some mechanic shops. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. We also have a, a little scoop, a little scoop in the in the beginning done by yours truly about uh, some uh, illegal things happening. So without further ado, let's get over to that segment right now, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, across from Weasel Studios and Uwu, there's this ominous construction site that's uh, actually been shut down for a while. It looks like construction has stopped. Uh, but the story doesn't really end there. There's been multiple reports of civilians breaking into this construction site and stealing from the pub the government. Uh, I believe they're stealing cement. We're not exactly sure why, but we're going to take a closer look here. We can see uh, we actually caught live footage of someone sneaking into the construction site. This is taken from the parking lot of Uwu. We can't really identify the individuals, and uh, they were gone before we uh, got a chance to interview or possibly just take a closer look into why so many people are looking into stealing the cement. We managed to get some uh, dramatizations here of uh, what it would look like if you ran into someone stealing cement. So if you have any more information on who these individuals are, or if you have any more information as to what the cement could be used for, make sure to reach out to LSPD or myself, Seamus Wishbone, over at Weasel Studios. Again, we're right across the street from the construction site that we see here. Once again, you can reach out to LSPD or myself, Seamus Wishbone. Whenever you're here, your family. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to Weasel News with attorney J.J. Knowlton here and his secretary, Angelina. J.J., how are you doing this evening? Doing well. How are you? Well, I'm doing fabulous, as always. So, J.J., what does your firm here bring to the city? Uh, we bring expertise in law. We service uh, all types of laws you can think of, from labor law to family, all the way to criminal and environmental law. Uh, from environmental to health, business, full, constitutional, and uh, civil procedure. If you do any kind of law that you need, uh, give us a call. Okay, so no case too big or too small, huh? Uh, never with the Knowlton Law Firm. Uh, we do everything that you can think of. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, what's your win percentage here in the city? Uh, in the city here, we're at 100% win percentage. Perfect, perfect. Angelina, what, what role do you play here at the uh, Nolton Law Firm? I'm actually uh, JJ's assistant slash secretary, so I'm basically responsible for, like, providing any support for him, um, you know, preparing legal documents, you know, reviewing that, you know, the people that need JJ have all the required information to proceed with, like, any lawsuits, you know, or getting help out of jail, just stuff like that. Perfect, perfect. What is your uh, rates here, JJ? Well, anything from 5000 to 500 Okay, okay. So he's an affordable no, attorney, not. ladies and gentlemen. You got uh, any cases you would uh, like to, uh, you know, give an example of? Uh, definitely. Uh, the Mike Big case. Mike Big case was one of the biggest ones here in the city. I did represent that. I had that case handed over to me, and uh, I won that one for him. I also usually get my case installed before trial, so that's another thing with Nolten Law Firm. Uh, there's no point in wasting time when you don't have to. Perfect, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. J.J. Nolten is here to serve the city. He is here for you. Call him if you ever get in a pickle. 
Seamus Wishbone here reporting live from JJ Norton's law firm. I'm here with Mr. Chico. Chico, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Doing well, doing well. Isn't this a beautiful building? It is. It is a beautiful building. I love these rugs. I love that TV. I love this view too. Look right over there. You can see the Vinewood sign. The view is amazing. The, the best view in the city, I would say so myself. So Chico, are you a oh, client yes. of uh, JJ Knowlton Law Firm? Uh, actually, yes, I am. Great, great. Have you actually gotten a chance to uh, work on any cases recently? Uh, no, you know, I keep my nose clean. I just keep them here in case, you know, anything happens and, you know, I need my lawyer. So perfect, perfect. What made you go with this specific law firm? Well, you know, he was advertising very well. You know, he's like, oh, I know my laws. And, you know, so we had our people, they quizzed him and, you know, he did pretty good. So we decided to, hey, this is our guy. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Have you uh, already started recommending this law firm to other people? Oh, yes, definitely. We recommend them to everybody. Great, great, great. What's your favorite part about being in this city and uh, being represented by uh, the law firm? Uh, you know, just that he's always on hand. Whenever I need to call, he'll answer the phone. That is good to know. Yes, I know a lot of other law firms, you know, sometimes leave you hanging. They have a wonderful secretary here that will answer your call almost every time and get you the help you need. Chico, thank you so much for your interview here. I hope you uh, continue to keep your nose out of trouble. Um, but if you do, JJ Knowlton Law Firm will be here to represent you and get you out of any sticky situation. You guys, this is Seamus Wishbone reporting live with Weasel News. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks again for tuning in to Weasel News. This is your number one reporter here in the city, Jartavius Franklin III. We're one of my main men right here, Mr. Jordan Gold. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Oh, I'm doing fabulous. Thanks for asking. So, Jordan, uh, first thing I'd like to get to is a very pressing matter. Why is TLM never open? TLM, you know, I'm a, I'm a busy man, you know. I, I can't be in the city all the time. Um, my, my, my employees, I don't fucking know. They, they do whatever they want to do. So, when I'm not in the city, they're out doing who God, God knows who, what, who knows what. Like, but when I'm in the city, they're normally in check if I, don't need, if I need them. But If I was you, Mr. Goat, I would fire all your employees because they are never here. I tried to come here countless times to get my vehicle upgraded. And I heard my, countless complaints about this shop never being open, Jordan. That is yeah. a serious issue here in the city. Indeed it is. There's three other shops. So, you know, give them some business because, you know, TLM, always getting all the fucking business. <laughs> oh, last time I checked, TLM got no business. But anyways, Jordan. Oh, uh, so what What would make somebody come to TLM over FAP or Tilly's? You know, we got plenty of room for vehicles. You can bring more than one vehicle. Great fucking customer service. We actually know what the fuck we're talking about. We're not going to be like, oh, uh, you know, this thingy majiggy here is wrong, something like that. You can make your vehicles look like this, you know, beautiful, nothing wrong with them. Run great all the time, you know? We got all the top tier performance parts, all the top tier paints, all of that. We ain't gonna worry, but you ain't gonna worry about your car breaking down on you, get, get fucking sun damage, all that. Beautiful paint jobs, like the one right behind you here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, for sure, for sure. And also, Jordan, one more quick question for you here. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your uh your after the fact customer service? You know, somebody comes in here, they you put on some uh, headers on their vehicle and they break. What would you do in that situation? I would replace them, put a better fucking or better set of headers on it. Actually, wouldn't put the same headers on it. Cause, you know, you buy something from manufacturers, all there's always a chance that there could be issues with it. And shipping, they could get damaged. I give them another set, you know, free of charge. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is Jartavius Franklin the third here. We're going to be signing out with my main man, Jordan Goat. Over. Hello, Jartavius Franklin the third. Here with my boy James Stone. Mr. Stone, how you doing tonight? Doing all right. How about yourself? Oh, I'm doing fabulous as always. You already know me out here getting this money, doing my work. So, Mr. Stone, uh, I see we're standing in front of this beautiful McLaren here over here at your FAP garage. Is that correct? Absolutely. McLaren Senna GT. Right. So is this only a hypercar garage? No, no, absolutely not. You can bring anything here from, you know, a, a hoopty up to, well, this. Okay, okay, amazing, amazing, beautiful. Um, So how, how would you say your customer service is here on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best? Oh, our customer service is top tier. You know, I tell all my clients, like, no matter what, if you don't see anyone, 
give me a call. I'm usually in the area and I'm always around. So you know, we're always happy to help. And, you know, you know, you know, sometimes there might be a long wait and it usually reflects in the the pricing at, at the end anyway. So, you know, it's usually uh, our, our customers almost always leave uh, happy and healthy. Okay, for sure, for sure. Uh, also, another quick question for you, my boy. Let's say, for example, you had somebody come up in here, you installed a set of headers on their vehicle, and them headers ended up cracking. What would you guys do about that? We would replace it uh, at a discounted rate, if not free, depending on how uh, how long those headers last. Uh, you know, sometimes it's user, uh, user error, but most of the time, you know, it could be faulty from the manufacturer. You know, we, we, we are flexible in those type of situations, so no, no worries there. Okay, perfect, perfect. I like to hear that. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to come down to FAP, they have the best prices in town, according to Mr. Stone, and they will maybe replace your headers for free. Jartavis, out. All right, well, uh, uh, Steven, uh, hand over to Steven. Yeah, hand over. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, she's stealing my stuff. All right, yes, put pan back over to Steven. Yeah, go. Okay. So Steven, uh, on, on record, uh, what's your decision uh, as far as my challenge goes, you know, for the uh, for the rap battle? Uh, fuck it, why not? <gasps> oh shit, yes sir! You already here first, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have a rap battle. Me versus Steven here, my mans. Uh, it's gonna be at the Mirror Restaurant, you know, my venue, you know, home turf uh, advantage, man. Come on out, man, it's gonna be some bars. It's gonna shake your damn socks off your motherfucking feet. So make sure you're there. If you ain't there, you a fucking square. We don't care. Come on, man. I already with the bars, man. My shit is wild off the top. When I be rapping, I be talking about fighting a lot. Rifles and glass. Stop playing. Come on, man. It's big back. We out of here, bro. Lock the door. Come on, man. I have to give a shout out to my mama. Y'all forgot. Y'all locked Y'all forgot the best guy there. What the fuck? Well, folks, you've heard it here first. This is Seamus Wishbone, Weasel News. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to Weasel News. We're my boy right here, uh, Angel De La Cruz. How you doing tonight, Mr. Officer De La, De La Cruz? I'm doing good, if you can see by the, the smile on my face. I'm happy. Why are you so happy tonight, De La Cruz? We just got a nice batch of new cadets in, new in our department. That means some more policing around the city, making the city a better place for everyone and a safer place. So speaking about these new officers, I noticed a sudden influx in new cadets. Is there anything going on? Is there higher crime rates in the city right now? Um, yeah, uh, you could say so. There's a lot of uh, gang wars happening at the moment. Um, we're uh, getting shot at a lot. We're just trying to decrease that so people don't have to worry about going to the store and getting shot at. Okay, awesome, awesome. I appreciate that. I have one one very pressing question to you. A lot of complaints going around the city of officers leaving their cars started. Are you guys not concerned about the environment? Oh, uh, it just it's just some some factors of uh leaving their cars either their their brain just malfunctioned and uh they didn't get to put away their vehicle. Um but we do care about the environment. I've been given ideas about going green, you know, electric police cars. Let's see if we could do that. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I really, I, you know, that would be great for the environment. A um, couple more quick questions for you here. Speaking on the crime rates, have there been any robberies lately that you guys had to tend to? Um, yeah, there's been a, there's been some robberies that we always have to attend to and have to uh, actually worry for our life. And so criminals lately do uh, have an objective of targeting the police department. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Officer De La Cruz. I hope you stay safe, and I'm sure everybody in the city does as well. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Jartavius Franklin III with Weasel News, signing out. And thank you so much for that, Jartavius. Again, everyone that uh, doesn't know, Jartavius Franklin III has been promoted to reporter. We're very happy to have him on. If anybody else is interested in the reporting life or working at Weasel, we have several positions open. Make sure to hit me up, Seamus Wishbone. I'm usually hanging out here at our uh, Weasel Studios at 732. If not, just give me a call. I usually have my number up on the advertisements. We are looking for help, people. There's a lot of crime. There's a lot of news stories out there, and I'm just a one-man show right now, aside from Jartavis. So if you want to work for me, let me know. Let me know. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good week, and I will see you on the next Weekly Scoop here at Weasel News Studios. This is Seamus Wishbone. 
Weasel News.